my channel so today video i will show you guys how to use your ipad to taking notes so my initial uh, reason for buying this uh, ipad is because i want to use this for drawing editing videos um designing learning taking notes all sort of that thing and as you can see in my ipad i have a couple of folders so i have a couple of folders that are specifically for this reason for college for productivity for editing for drawing for, and for education so i know when you talk about taking notes on ipad you will immediately think about good notes um the one i have here you would immediately think about good notes and notability so in this video today i will show you two apps that are completely free and you'll be able to use this for um taking notes of your classes and also um um editing a uh, pdf files so as you can see in this college folder i have a couple of apps that i use specifically for um, note taking um for my college apps uh, i've been in college for more, um for about a year now and i took all of my notes since like freshman year of college um in this two apps so the first one so the first one is OneNote, and the second one is um soto uh, i don't know how you pronounce it but it's x o d o if you want to search it so um i think many people will be really familiar with one note so i will go with uh soto first because not really um many um youtubers or many people that they're talking about note taking they don't really mention this app and i think that is way underrated for this app because this is really excellent it's really incredible app um that i've been using since like high school and still now so um let's go to xdo first and you can also access files from your icloud drive from your ipad root drive dropbox onedrive and it will sync um to the cloud um automatically so you don't have to store all of your files all of your notes all of your textbooks on um, your iPad, you can actually uh, put it on the cloud. Like for example, I mostly use a uh, Google Drive, and then you can sync it um, to the uh, to your tablet, and you can then uh, write a taking note and then save it to the cloud, and it will take almost no um, memory in your tablet. I mean, you will have a lot of text and files that you have to work on, and maybe your iPad if it's a uh, 32 gig RAMs, you don't want to waste the like memory to for just you know notes and text you could use that for a lot of things and most of that memory could be used for installing apps and like drawing something like that so you would want to save this memory and of course uh, using drive would be um your option so i'm in the on my ipad um option here and you can save it um right there as you can see uh if you not then it will sync um to your file so you don't really have to worry you just have to sign in to your account and then you will immediately have the access to the files so of course you have to ascend right for the app um, for the solo to access to your cloud system so as you can see i have this pdf that i just opened um that i just opened to the app so if you click right to there you have a few options um so let's go to this left to from the left to the right first uh, so if you click to this button it show the outline so if your pdf files um have the outline so you can access like chapter one chapter two chapter three uh, immediately um if you're taking any notes on this pdf files they will all show here and if you want to have like ex like quick access to the notes you can actually uh briefly go through um this menu and if you can if you want to bookmark um the page then you can also do that and then get the quick access to um your bookmark and then if your this is really similar to this um options here the uh, four square option is the thumbnails um so as if your pdf files your text doesn't have like the outline is normally um have something to do with the author if um the author already like divide your text into an outline into chapters and allow the app to access to those like system this kind of depends on different uh files so you definitely uh, want to check them out but if 
your files don't have that function then you can still are looking through the whole files with the thumbnail and they have like the picture of um like they have like a proof picture like a small thumbnail picture so you can see um the chapter you can see the files you can see the text briefly and then you can quickly choose and immediately go to that section and then you can have annotated and bookmark so um yeah it's really easy to access to and of course this app as i said in the beginning of the video is just completely free so yeah it's pretty uh fabulous and i really like this app I've, as i said i've been using it for um school for classes uh for anything literally and you can see this files is sat uh, practices that i get i don't know uh, from the internet somewhere um then i've downloaded i put it to my google drive and then i have the access to it from my ex um, from solo anywhere anytime uh one thing really great about this app is it's also synchronized um it's also available on your windows which is your laptop and your android so Previously, I have an Android tablet. I also use this app to um, do the same thing like this, and I can also do the same thing with my laptop. And because you um, you synchronize the files to your Google Drive, then you don't have to worry that you won't have the access from other devices, even if even if it's not um, iOS system like Windows, Android, Samsung, anything. You can. Uh, access the same files the same function from any app and this app is of course as i say completely free on every platform so you don't have to worry about that uh, so however the interface of the app is uh, a little bit different from platform to platform so um so i would go to the interface first and as we go to the top two um icons here i go to the top four icon on the right for now so this is the search icon of course it, this is the pdf file so if you want to search any keywords on the files then you can definitely type here and then search for example i type um social for example i have social and I hit search it's um show that there are two out of seven um options that i have and i can quickly go through all of them so this is a, a really basic um, functions of any PDF uh, editing app it's not really something fancy but because it's necessary and I really appreciate the app because it includes literally anything that you would need to have for um, just a PDF markup um, app it's really it's not something fancy but it's really um, interesting it because it's free and most of the apps that I saw on YouTube most of them are charge you some kind of price to get to certain uh, functions, certain um, editing functions, to certain tools, this app completely free. So yeah, and then this one is just um, how you will read the um, your document. I don't really use this function that often. So I'm really sure what what that is. So I think it just reorganize how the text um, display on your iPad. And then um, there's a three dot. Uh, icons on the right hand the top right hand of this so we have the settings the view settings with how you view your document the app settings uh, you can share you can export and you can add pages to um, the document so let's go with the view setting first you can see it as one page or two page like this so you can choose um how you want to view your uh, docs in my opinion this like interface um, the design of the interface on the on um, iOS on the iPad is actually less effective than um, the interface of the Samsung tablet or on Windows on your uh, tablet uh, on your laptop is definitely different and um, as me personally because I get used to the interface on Samsung my Samsung tablet and my uh, window laptop so this is a little bit strange for me and a little bit uh, inconvenient uh, for me personally um, so yeah so first we have view mode view mode is just basically you able to view and see and read anything from the text from your files that's it and then we have annotate um, so this annotate mode so this is annotate mode you will be able to add text to the files then you can edit the text that is um, actually pretty uh, basic I don't use this mode that often because 
first I don't have any keyboard on a like physical e-port um, for the iPad and then um, if I have to type which means I have to type on the screen and it's really inconvenient for me to do so uh, as compared to just using my Apple Pencil and like scribbling um, writing on the files it's much easier so I don't use this function that's uh, often so but it's this is an option for you and you have to access to everything that you would want to add annotate to your files you have draw and in draw you have a lot of you have more tools so you have the writing tools of course you can be able to write on this app you can have the undo and redo button you can also change the size of the app there's no like different paint on um, this uh, app it's just ink and it's black or you can choose like a lot of different color there's just a set of um, normally used color because it's not um, drawing app like Grow create or anything so I wouldn't expect it have like a, a, a lot of colors I think this um, set of colors actually pretty enough for uh, any um, purpose of writing that you would um, do so if you want to take note there's a lot of colors that are available for you normally I just use black um, a few like red and uh, blue colors and maybe a little bit of uh, like purple and orange colors I think that's pretty enough for me and for most of you guys if you're just like a normal uh, taking notes person taking notes students I think it's really uh, basic and they have they have like four different uh, pens right there so you can have quick access to this you can also change the thickness the opacity uh, and then you can have the eraser so and then you can also have the eraser right there so however particularly in this android um in this like ios they don't allow you to change the size of your um of your eraser i think it's a little bit uh inconvenient and then on um, this button means you will um, have the set of um the um apple the ios um set of writing so you have the pen this pencil the um highlighter the eraser selection show measure store the color then this way you will have like a full spectrum of colors so if you um if you like want to draw or like doing really colorful uh, annotation then you can um use this apple function you can um, write it and you can change the size um you can highlight this is the pencil and then with this eraser you can pixel eraser or object eraser which means you can like slowly erase everything or erase the whole line if you want to and if you so there's a lot of things uh, however i want to mention that if you use the pen on um if you use the pen on this um like this apple setting then you won't be able to use the eraser of the app to erase uh, anything you will be able to but it, it will erase like the whole thing you annotate and that sometimes might not be the case that you want maybe you just want to read like for example i have a b c if i use the eraser from this setting from the apple setting and i will be able to um erase a b c like c b a um separately but if i use the eraser from the app i will just if you can see i'll just delete the whole thing and then you have the um tool for drawings like rectangle uh your circle you can you can hold like this to create so yeah and you can use the eraser to uh, erase the whole thing of course you have polygon um, so yeah, you can use this for anything and you can create like full um, straight line or line with like um, arrow and you can create a line like this if you want so there are access so I used to use this app for uh, my um, algebra, uh, algebra, algebra class in college and that class uh, require a lot of drawing craft so this is actually pretty helpful uh, i would say so yeah but at the time i don't use the ipad so so i don't really get used to how 
the tools work on iPad because I just keep like the the pencil tool and then the eraser tool most of the time. Um, so yeah, but there's tool and you can learn uh, more from it. So I just give you a little bit of review um, and show you how it was done. Then you have the selection tool if you like write multiple taxes and then you can select the whole thing like this and delete it. You also have a lot of options from the selection tool. For example, you can change the style, you can change the thickness, the color, the opacity. Um, you can delete it, of course, copy the, ta uh, copy the notes. Flatten it means that you will like impact it to the file and you won't be able to erase it later. I think um, I've never used such this feature because I always want to go back and forth and erase and taking more notes or something. And this is so note so like you can like and insert you can insert um signature uh pictures stamp um files any files any link anything that you would want to do it's really basic uh bdf uh editing app so there's a whole lot of things for you to do measures uh you have the access to it so i'm, I'm really glad that they do include a lot of features a lot of tools um that you normally would have to pay for it if you use the other app yeah so and then bands it is really similar to the um the draw mode but in this time you have the access to your highlighter so you would be able to highlight your text and you do have like a few um color different color for your Tap as well um, and as you can see the highlighter uh, after you um, dry it, it will be um, moving under the text so it's not like overlaying on your um, on the text so it's it's much clearer but um, of course you would uh, have to um, be aware of the overlapping right there so if you like two different colors um, continuously you have to be aware that it may occur this like overlapping weird color establishing right there so yeah and then this paint mode we have like different um, highlighter uh, and then you can change the size the thickness of the the, uh, the text and the color the opacity you can and they give you you know some really good example for a highlighter i think they do really well on you know knowing the 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 most used color for like pens for pencil for highlighters this is a really good set of colors you don't have to have like a whole lot of like the whole spectrum a whole colors from rgb from cmyk to be able to add it to taking notes you just have to just need to have a few and this is enough this is way more than enough and you want to take you know um a static note on your on the, your pdf files i'm pretty sure that this set of color is way more than enough for you guys so see you guys soon in the part two of this video next video i will be talking about one note is one of my favorite app for taking notes of course follow me uh, subscribe my channel like this video and leave uh, any comments um, that you have uh, maybe some information that i giving in this uh, video uh, a little bit incorrect then correct me um, on the uh, comment section below and thank you guys for watching and see you guys later bye bye